Episode 165, Washout. Uh, Ron Thomas. I don't feel so well. Don't worry, Thomas. Gator will take you away to have your repairs. But who will take Annie and Clarabelle in my <coughs> absence, coughed Thomas. Paxton will be taking care of Annie and Clarabelle in your branch line run. Well, that's... <laughs> nice, sneezed Thomas. All right, Thomas, your sneezing's getting worse. I mean, your cold's getting worse. I should probably take you away to have your repairs now. In <coughs> deed, Gator, said Thomas. So Gator puffed away with Thomas in tow. Just after he left, Paxton puffed into the station. Hello, Edward. Oh, hello, Paxton, said Edward. Um, I'm assuming Annie and Clarabel are behind me. Yes, they are, Paxton, said Edward. Paxton buffered up to Annie and Clara. Oh, hello, Paxton, said Annie. Indeed, said Annie, said Clarabelle. It's good to see you again, Paxton. Indeed, said Paxton. Oh, that must be my guard's whistle. I better get going. Wait, Paxton, said Edward. There's a bridge on the br on Thomas's branch line over there. Isn't that the same bridge where Thomas went fishing all those years ago? Yes, but it's... But you need to be careful. I have a feeling it's be becoming unstable. You could fall off the rails and fall into the water below. Don't worry, Edward. I'll be fine, said Paxton. And he rolled away, leaving a very concerned Edward behind. Oh, I hope Paxton will be all right, said Edward. Who's Paxton? Huh? Oh. Who are you? Asked Edward as a new diesel rolled into the station. Hello, I'm Sydney. I think. Uh, who are you? Oh, hello, Sydney. I'm Edward. Well, I am new here, and I'm not a very good, memorable engine. I don't have good memories. I've got short-term memory loss, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean, Sydney. How about I show you around the railway? And that diesel you saw leaving was Paxton. Oh, okay. Lead the way, Edward. And so, Edward showed Sydney around the railway. While Paxton continued his work. Soon enough, Paxton was heading toward the bridge. But there was trouble. The night before, it had rained heavily, and it had turned the river into a torrent and released a boulder. It was running out of control and, and hit a part of the bridge and some bricks fell into the water below. Just as Paxton was heading over the bridge, it started to shake. What's going on? said Paxton. The bridge is gonna collapse, said his crew. We need to get to the other side at once. And that's what they did, just as the bridge collapsed. Gee, said Paxton, that was close. I better get Jack, Alfie, and Byron, a.k.a. the pack, for this. Soon enough, Alfie... Jack and Byron were called to the scene, and they examined the bridge. <clears throat> well, said Jack, we should be able to get this bridge fixed, but it may take a few days. 
Oh, said Paxton. Okay, I guess I'll have to take a different route while you're fixing the bridge. I'm afraid so, said Alfie. Okay. Thanks for that, said Paxton, as he rolled away while Jack, Alfie, and Byron set to work on repairing the bridge.